They run the football, and also Heller's a good receiver. Stefan Page out of Long Beach goes wide left, and to the top of the screen there is Vince Wesley. First down. Little flare. Terry Carter to the sideline, and Bowling Green covered well in the person of the big tackle, Andre Young. Andre Young is quite a story. He's only 6'2", 220. He anchors that line. He's an All-American in the Division I. Dwayne, it looks like to me so far that Bowling Green's defense is doing the job that not many people could have thought they could do. It's competitive football. We have another close battle on our hands in the second annual California Bowl. And a fine catch. I go down the field. Tedford, you get the feeling that Fresno State will try to go down the field with their attack. Tedford will throw from his own 10-yard line. Down the middle he goes for Page, and he'll also be able to get out of bounds. So exactly as Ken Willard calls it, Fresno State executes it, and he's out of bounds as he crosses his own 35. First down for the Bulldogs. They came in with that high-powered offense, and it hasn't really done much. It's been sputtering all day long as both teams head to the locker rooms. There's a look at the Fresno State sideline. And this Fresno State team a little shell-shocked as you look at Jim Sweeney. This man's been around, a veteran coach, coached at Washington State in the Pacific Eight at that time, I believe it was. Okay, we have third down and ten. Technically, Fresno State can get a first down without getting a touchdown. Now they run out of a tight eye and switch the split backs behind the quarterback, Tedford. He was in. Touchdown, Fresno State. And so they've broken the drought. And a happy Stefan Page. Braving, trying to get on the scoreboard. Trying to break loose here. Back goes Tedford. And he gives inside. And a big gainer. It is Lavelle Thomas. The only problem for them is they're two touchdowns behind. And on the first play, they try the inside handoff for Lavelle Thomas. He gets it out across the 35 before he's ridden down. A pickup of about six on the play. Abel Thomas getting a workout on that sprint draw. They're coming back to it. They've had a lot of success with it. But everyone knows what's coming pretty soon. They're going to try to hit Stephon Page. The bread and butter guy. Their, their best receiver on that field at this time. Thomas and Carter are the setbacks. Tedford barks the signal, second out and four. He'll throw it again. On the rollout, and he hits Page across midfield. Ken Willard, you call it, and give credit to Tedford because that's the most difficult throw to make, running away for a right-handed thrower. Kevin, you're so right. That is the toughest throw for a right-handed quarterback, and why they do it all the time, I'll never know. But here he is. He's rolling out to his left. He has to reach across his body, really, and he makes a perfect throw to a guy who's having an unbelievable day, and everybody knows he's going to catch the football. And he's still finding a way to get open. They're not doubling him up yet. First down across midfield for Fresno State. They trail 28-14, under 10 minutes left. This is Carter, and he's tripped up as he picks up three or four yards. That was a big league play by Sean Sims, who came up very fast to make that tackle, saved a lot of yardage. And Green leading it 28 to 14. You were wondering uh, a moment ago, Ken, how many catches Page had. You said he was catching them all day. Well, he's caught 12 for 193 yards. That's a pretty good career. <laughs> and that is a California Bowl record. Third and eight, big play for Fresno State if they want to maintain possession. The blitz is coming, and he flips it out, and he completes it to O'Brien, and he got the first down, I believe. What a second effort. That is a big play. That could be the biggest play of this ball game. Bayless was hanging on, trying to bring him down, and that's nothing but determined effort by O'Brien. Here's another look. Just a little toss out to Fran O'Brien, the big tight end, on a roll. And watch him pick up that marker. He needs that. Martin Bayless picks him up. Now he needs to stretch, and he gets the ball out. A great effort. A big play for O'Brien. Coaches love seeing that kind of effort on the films, don't they? Oh, brother, you love to be the one that you did the effort. <laughs> If you're Martin Bayless, I guess you don't want to see it on the other side. From the 38 of Bowling Green, Fresno State with a first down. And the handoff is to Carter, following his blockers on the right side, but there weren't many of them. All he saw were brown jerseys, and they throw him to the turf for no game. You can't say much about that Fresno State offense, but I think at this point you've really got to go with those little short pass 
Fourth and five. Tedford's going to sprint out. He may be able to run for it. He does, and he's got he's the first got down. It. He, he drops the ball. Bowling Green has it, and they're going to get the football. Oh, what a turn of events. Jeff Tedford down, disgusted and discouraged. Made a tremendous effort to pick up the first down and drop the football. Bowling Green recovers. It looks bleaker and bleaker as time goes on. 7, 12, 18 left, although they are knocking on the door at the four-yard line. Tedford with Page and Wesson wide. He pitches it back. The reverse coming this way to Wesson. He gets in trouble. Sidesteps his own quarterback, and he's in for the touchdown. Check it. It's Page for the score, but he had to leap over his own man to get in there. I think he's just happy to get some help. He doesn't mind leaping over him. Devon Page, a great runner, after he catches the football normally, but can be a great runner after the reverse. Here we see the play, the pitch to Carter, the gift to Stephon Page. Now Truckley gets blocked and has to, he has to jump over Tedford. And here he comes into the end zone, gets some great blocking downfield. Stephon Page, what a day he's having. Darrell for the conversion out of Warman's hold to try to make it 28-14 right down the middle. And Fresno State perhaps climbing back into this thing with 12 minutes and 11 seconds to go. 28 to 14, and we will return to Fresno, California for more of the California Bowl after these messages. Ford has completed 25 passes for better than 300 yards, and he's got his Bulldogs with a first down at the Bowling Green 27-yard line. The blitz is coming, he throws quickly for Page, and he's Look in it. for the touchdown! Unbelievable! with his third, third touchdown of the game, but you see him grabbing his right knee. And we'll wait and see if he is severely injured, but he's got three touchdowns, we know that. And with three minutes left, we've got an eight-point difference at the point after the come. It almost looks as if fates are against Fresno State. It looks like it could be a hamstring or a gastric nemus in his calf. There's a throw. It was a post pattern. Look at the catch. Tony Graham takes a shot. Now, that's where he hurt his, hurt his leg, I believe. He doesn't seem to catch up with him until he finishes the play from another angle. You see the play right down the gut. He hits him. What a player. Stephon Page into the end zone. we got a ball game. They're going for two. Tedford on the rollout. Throws it complete for the two-point conversion. Carter made the catch as he slid to the turf. And so it's 28-22. Bowling Green with just a six-point lead. Real crucial situation. Would you, would you kick an onside kick? No way. I'm getting that ball down the field. I'm going to tell my defense, if you ever wanted to play football in your life, you get out there and you play defense right now. Some of those folks that headed for the exits are going to be mighty just three yards coming into the game. Jim Sweeney telling his players to get back. You think you could only be concerned about running the game. You've got to run up and down the sidelines to tell your players to get off the line marker or it's going to cost you 15 yards. What a comeback by this Fresno State team. Down, it looked like they were out. Jeff Tedford, two. The clock in the screen was incorrect. 41 seconds now as they snap the football. Tedford in trouble, fires it out, and he completes it on the far side. It is Page once more, and it's first and goal for Fresno State with 33 seconds left. Now you might think about and at first this point, and goal. 33 seconds to go. They burned that last time out. Jim Sweeney wants to talk it over with Tedford. I'm wondering what Meek was doing in on defense. I thought it was 83, it was 93. Tedford will throw, straight drop back, touchdown to Wesson! All the people are going crazy. What a comeback. Vince Wesson, the silent gun in the lineup for Fresno State, while Page stole the headlines, Wesson steals the game. It's tied at 28. They still have to make the conversion with 11 seconds left. Again, we wondered why they went for the two points. Seconds left. The biggest point of Scott Darrow's life so far. And he makes it. It was nearly blocked, but he got it through there. Fresno State has won the California Bowl with a miracle comeback, 29-28. to 28. And an unheralded 
wide receiver by the name of Vince Wesson, a hometown boy out of Fresno, scored the game-winning touchdown. Jim Sweeney, well, they say it may be a swan song at Fresno State. Rumors circulating wildly that he's headed for 